Hello everyone and welcome to Arebus Gaming. We've got some more lightning returns here for you and this is to live in chaos. Now I believe this quest becomes available once you have taken out Caius. And what will happen is a big chaos infusion will occur around Canopy, Canopus Farms. And what you need to do is you need to m go down there and you'll be faced with a chaos infused chocobo eater. Uh, just a uh, FYI, uh, you can't kill, you can't extinct Chocobo Eaters until you've done this battle, as I found out. So, Chaos Infused is not really that difficult. I mean, the Chocobo Eater is a bit of a scary monster, but to be honest, once you've nailed a strategy and you understand how it works, it's not too difficult at all. You want to go in with a Ghostly Hood to remove pretty much any physical damage this guy can do against you and to be honest he's pretty easy to guard as well so stagger him with your standard thunder error uh, you can use evade like I'm using or you can use guard just get out way of them keep on staggering him and then use your whirlwind kicks now what I tend to do is I don't stagger him a second time until I get into the meat of the battle because what you'll see is you can continuously stagger him like this and it's pretty easy to do, you just double thunder and double arrow and double thunder and double arrow and he should be pretty much staggered. When he does that you want to move out of the way again or uh, protect, uh, guard yourself and you won't get stopped but as you saw I staggered him before he managed to trigger it off anyway. And as you can see he's nearly staggered again so that's what I mean, it's just very nicely done. Guard that you won't get stopped. Well, I think the likelihood of getting stopped is pretty reduced. But yeah, that one, uh, yeah, the same again. You just want to guard against it. He's buffed himself now, so if you need any of those, just steal them off him with bravery feet. Very powerful attack, and very useful attack as well. When he's satisfied, he'll just go back down to normal level. Now, what you want to try and do is you want to try and take this guy out as fast as possible because the longer you take, the more aggressive he gets. So we've staggered him again, we're going in with whirlwind kicks, trying to perfectly time those whirlwind kicks because the damage multipliers on these is insane. See, I hit a couple there and I went from doing 12k damage to 66k damage on the first on the final attack. So hitting those is crucial to dishing out massive amount of damage. It's much more effective if you've got a good trigger finger than using heavy slash or Artemis's arrow, those sort of power attacks and it costs a lot less more in ATB as well. So there we go, we staggered him again, we're still staying away from the set from the second stagger point. And we're gonna yeah, also a good point is then sure you got a deep protected in imperiled, it adds so much more to the damage multipliers and I've got Bravery Transform on my Splendid Admiral and what I want to do there is reduce my ATB to minus 10 once I do that I'll be able to trigger Bravery on me. When he does this chomp attack you just need to try and back away unfortunately I didn't defend when he did his shout therefore he stopped me but we've got some nice um, thiefing moves that we can do there we took haste off him, I think we took Bravery off him as well I can't remember but again, just evade his punches, they're not hard, or guard against them. When he does that, if you go in with a power slash, you'll do, you'll do quite a powerful stagger attack. Um, if you do it at the right time, you can stagger him instantaneously. So there we go, staggered him again, same old stuff. Go through, we will win kick. Pra I mean, it's good practice for getting perfect attacks, to be honest. They say you don't really have to worry about him too much with this, with this setup. He, he doesn't, as you can see there, a guard. I didn't even need to perfect guard against it. That's how strong it is, and I evaded that. You just have to time it all right. And again, we're going to stagger him. Go in again with whirlwind kicks. If you feel like you want to stagger him twice, be my guest. Double beat down will take him to the second stagger point. But I find that it takes a while for his stagger to come back. Once you double stagger him, it takes. Uh, what I mean by that is once you double stagger him, you see the blue line which highlights the stagger point. It doesn't. It doesn't happen for a while. So there we go. I staggered him just as he put stop on me, unfortunately. So there's not much I can do. And as you can see there, if you looked at the uh, Libra, you'd see that is rare, and that's because I'm actually on the extinct 
uh, I'm actually on the Omega version, but it hasn't appeared yet, so I need to take this one out. So there we go, a chomp. He got me with that, unfortunately. I didn't time that very well. Again, be protect in peril. Switch to your bravery thief and have some fun. And guarding, guarding or evade, do whichever you please. I'm having to, this is what I mean, you see, when you leave it too long, this battle's taking quite a while, he's now doing a lot more hits, and they're a lot more aggressive. Chef's secret, guard against it if you've got the ghostly hood, even though it's fire damage, it's basically, there is some physical attack into that as well. So that sh you shouldn't really worry about that, he managed to dodge that attack, unfortunately. So, <laughs> I could have gotten nearly staggered there, and I'm just a bit of a mess here to be honest. I'm trying to get those perfect guards in, but it's just not happening. It's just a bit too short, a bit too short. There we go, stagger again. Same again, just repeat. The reason I'm using Whirlwind Kick rather than uh, Magic Attacks is because, like I said, I don't want to double stagger him, so these don't stagger him enough to break his second stage. There we go, I'm trying to evade, that's what I'm doing. I found a new time trying to evade him. <laughs> so yeah, like I say, it's it's not a difficult battle. Once you once you figure out how he moves and what he does, it's just a case of ensuring you've got nice ATB management in there, ensuring that you're on guard all the time. I mean this battle takes around seven minutes to complete. Not to kill him, so it's all about making sure that you don't make mistakes, silly mistakes, stuff like that, you just want to keep at him and at him. I'm killing him without using overclock, I'm sure you can all, all be done. I'm going in with a whirlwind kick, some nice damage there, and we're going to put him into his second stagger now because he only had a bit of life left, and because I perfectly timed the second drop on the beatdown, that got a damage amplifier and did 287,000 damage. And some pretty good stats, but you know, there's the same old that you can get from the Chocobo Eater. So, with that defeated, you can get a nice little cutscene here. I'll let this play out for you. Forgive me. I couldn't do it, I couldn't save your friends. I can do this. Let me pray for them. It's no substitute for salvation. But at the very least, perhaps I can give them peace. Odin! My friend, you have to know, I am powerless. I couldn't save all the souls who yearned for right, Whilst this side quest is finishing out, I might tell you what the quest drop is, and that's the Gagnarad. In and despair. in my mind, this is probably one of the best weapons in the game. The, the reason had, for it is it allows you to attack centuries. twice. No Don't be disconcerned with the strength minus 50%. You get a massive boost to ATB speed. And if you manage to match your stats out, this will be stronger than the stronger strongest single attack weapon, because you can attack twice with it. So that is why I believe it's probably one of the best weapons in the game. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one.